Going on to the next topic, we are going to explain how a capacitor works. If we are going to compare a capacitor to a water circuit, it would be something like the following. Inside a circuit it would be a water storage, so what's the matter? What good is it to us? Imagine that here we have a water push. And from here we have an exit. What would happen if we have water pressure here? For a moment it stops and then it continues, it stops and continues again. Well, if this were a direct pipe, this cut would directly affect the output. But what happens if we have a place where we have water stored? This cut on this side will not be felt because the same pressure that is stored at this point, even if the water injection here is cut off for a few very brief moments on this side, I will have an almost constant flow thanks to this storage. And that is the function of the capacitors. And why do we need it? Because in alternating current we have this cut. And the pressure of the electrons in their tension. Why does that happen? We had said a moment ago that the symbol for alternating current was this. If we draw alternating current on a graph, in a line, we will draw it as follows. What does this tell us? That the electrons enter from one side and from the other, from one side and from the other, from one side and from the other, and this happens, we are going to put it with another color. Between this point and this one, this it happens 50 or 60 times per second, which is the frequency. This circulation of electrons to one side and to the other produces an opposite effect on us. Imagine that you have one electrical conductor and another, and here you have the circuit, the electrons are going to go there. But at the moment when which the electrons are going to change direction, at that moment they stop. To better understand it, we can compare it to the circulation of a car. Imagine that we are with a car moving from one wall to another, so we go to one side, we arrive here, we reverse gear and we go to the other, and we go there and we go here and we constantly do this, putting it in reverse and first, reverse and first. At the moment of reaching the limit of the route, exactly at this moment, at what speed do I find myself with my car? At this moment I am at zero kilometers per hour because I have to stop to start turning to the other side. The same thing happens with the electrons, exactly the same at the moment of changing direction. Meaning will be found with these points which represent zero volts. And that's where we're going to stop. We don't have any more electron push. All these points are called zero crossing. What happens when I transform alternating current into direct current? Notice what happens when alternating current is converted to direct current. Let's move on to the other chart. 